Conservative New Media fans, we've got some news to bring you about new Houston Rockets star point guard Jeremy Lin. Lynn has come out in a new interview with the San Jose Mercury News and acknowledged his apparently numerous critics. We will give you a link to that interview story in the video description below the video player so you can check it out for yourself. So, Jeremy Lin, the new presumptive starting point guard for the Houston Rockets, has come out and given this sit-down interview, I believe, with the San Jose Mercury News. In the interview, Jalen covered a number of different topics, including the contract issue that went down between the New York Knicks and the Houston Rockets. Jalen basically said, look, I never went in and renegotiated with the Houston Rockets. Essentially, what he said in the interview is that The Rockets decided to make their own supposed alterations to the contracts. He's like, look, I didn't have anything to do with it. I just went in, I signed, and dealt with only one contract. There was no renegotiations or anything of the sort. That's what Jeremy Lin appears to be saying here. He also talked about his belief system in the interview, mentioned his religion, He talked about his enthusiasm about playing for the Houston Rockets. I think that Jeremy Lin really believes that the Houston Rockets want him and came after him aggressively, seemed to really want him as part of their their team. Of course, Jeremy Lin played for the Rockets before, and I believe that the Rockets let him go. And Jeremy Lin reflects on the Lin sanity of the past year talks about how it was living with that and what that was like to deal with in New York City. One of the points that really I found particularly interesting was he mentioned the following thing, quote, I will always, always have doubters, unquote. Now, Jeremy Lin did not elaborate on why he thought that was the case, that there will always be doubters, but he did bring up that point. I thought that was a pretty interesting thing for him to say. Now, some analysis on this interview. I agree with Jeremy Lin. I think for whatever reason, there always will be doubters slash haters of Jeremy Lin. There could be a number of different reasons why this is the case. I think some people might feel a little bit jealous of the Linsanity phenomenon that happened last year and that is likely to continue going on into the future. I think that there might be some players or other fans that are just jealous of Jeremy Lin's fame and how important of a figure he has become in the NBA at such a young age. Who knows? But I know that we, as in our opinion, the premier YouTube channel for Jeremy Lin information and news, I know that we have seen comments and remarks from people that just seem to, I'm not sure how to characterize it. There seems like an extra level of vitriol sometimes directed at Jeremy Lin, and I'm not sure why that is. I mean, we've seen that in videos we've done about Tim Tebow, and it's kind of like Jeremy Lin did not decide to make himself into some superstar. He says in this interview, look, people that know me know I didn't go looking for this. I'm not even about this. It just kind of got put on his shoulders. So it's, it's hard, I think, to be mad at a guy who wasn't looking for fame, wasn't looking for this type of stardom. That's just my own thought on, on that whole matter. Now, as I have said before regarding Jeremy Lin and his playing ability, I believe that Jeremy Lin has the potential to be a superstar or certainly a legitimate star. I think he's got the ability to be a real perennial all-star candidate type of a player. Is he going to be that next year for the Houston Rockets? I'm not sure about that. Some of it, of course, just like winning in the NBA, some of it has to do with the players around you. John Stockton and Carl Malone benefited a lot from having the other player with them. 
If John Stockton didn't have Carl Malone, John Stockton wouldn't have had as many assists as he ended up with in his career. And if Carl Malone didn't have John Stockton playing with him, he would have gotten a, a lot fewer layup opportunities than he probably ended up having. So it's not all in Jeremy Lin's hands. We've seen players that are excellent players on teams that aren't that good, and they don't get a lot of recognition. So some of it will depend upon the team around him and certainly Jeremy Lin's development as a player and as his skill level will depend upon his own work ethic and initiative as well as the coaches and the people that he has with the Rockets organization in order to properly coach him and teach him how to develop his abilities to the fullest. But coming back once again to the main topic here, Jeremy Lin has said that he will always have doubters and haters. And that's kind of unfortunate, I think. So that is the story for this video. Now, what do you think about what Jeremy Lin said? Do you think he's always going to have doubters and haters? Will Jalen's play on the court next season and going forward, will that silence the doubters and haters? How good do you think Jeremy Lin is going to be next year and for his entire career? You let us know what you think about those questions and your answers to them in the comment section below. Please be sure to vote this video up or down. Let us know what you thought about this video. And of course, certainly, we welcome you to come and join the fun on the Conservative New Media Facebook group. We have over 2,000 members and growing by the day in that group. We certainly would love to see you come and become a part of that. You will find the link to the CNM Facebook group in the video description below. This is NBA expert Paul F. Villarreal for Conservative New Media. Thanks a lot for watching, and we will talk with you soon.